Now to a story about a group of Queensland schoolgirls taking on the world in the futuristic field of space design. It's really exciting, isn't it? The seven talented students are right now on their way to NASA to take part in an international competition. This isn't your average maths or science class. Students in this Brisbane classroom are brainstorming ideas out of this world. I do like the structural engineering parts. I like to design and draw a lot of diagrams. Together, the team from St Aidan's Girls' School won the Australian Space Design Competition, earning a place in the international contest at NASA headquarters in Washington, America, where they'll compete against peers from all over the globe. If I had to rate my um, excitement out of 10, I'd be like an 11 right now. <laughs> Watch out, NASA. Yeah. Students from the US, um, but we also have India, the UK, Romania, Brazil. It's a real mix of cultures, and that's one of the real uh, challenging but exciting parts of the competition. What makes the achievement particularly impressive is the school's track record of success. It's won the national competition six times before, with past students encouraging new ones coming through in a field typically dominated by males. I work on robots and all of the automated functions within it. Those are both very, very male-dominated sections within the competition. How do you find that? Um, I actually don't mind it as much. I, well, I've got brothers, so I do a lot of dealing with boys. It's not that bad. It's really empowering as a woman to be successful in this competition. They're highly capable, uh, very intelligent, and I think what they love the most is that opportunity to collaborate. What's the competition environment like? It's very high stress, I can definitely tell you that. The types of challenges students might face include develop a settlement on Venus with human and economic activity, or find a way to mine on the moon, or solve the growing problem of space debris. And after what was found on a remote West Australian beach this week, it's a concept that might not be too far from reality. How do you even begin to come up with something for that? It's quite daunting at first, but it, um, as we get, as we work together as a team, it, the image of our like idea becomes clearer. It's set in about 50 years from now, so it's not too far in the future that we can't imagine this technology. It's near enough that we can see the technology is heading in that direction. There's no doubt the experience is paving the way for a bright future. What are your dreams beyond school? Well, Beyond School is probably not going to be aerospace engineering, but it's probably going to still be in the science field, maybe medicine. I'm considering architectural engineering, just something techie. We've had a number of students who um, have gone on to work for companies like Boeing. But for now, it's all about representing Australia on the world stage. We're really strong in this competition. We know what we're doing. And I think we'll do, we'll do our best. With strong support all the way. As an adult uh, who never had this opportunity when I was at school, I, I, I sit back in, in wonder and in awe. It's incredible. And we wish them all the best. What an amazing experience. That's an excursion, yeah, isn't it? It sure is, isn't it? An out-of-this-world one. I went to, I went to Ballarat. <laughs>